Hey guys, it's Fancy and you're watching the Good Wives Network and my very good friend, Hello Starlight, has fallen down a quite a bit of a rabbit hole and she sent me something from the archives from 2014. Let me grab it for you. So this is a news article about the head of Mercy Springfield announcing their departure in May, March 28th of 2014, Dr. Robert Steele. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't know that Dr. Steele became the president of Mercy Hospital, which is much more concerning to me than it was before, considering that I've caught Ms. Dr. Steele in several, several current lies. And guess where he's taking off to go since he's leaving? Little Rock, Arkansas. Gosh, a lot of people want to go to Arkansas. I didn't know it was so popular. But apparently he was trying to tell the employees that they should not be joining in a union and that he felt that that was not per pertinent to keeping the hospital running well. And so he decided that he was going to leave. It couldn't possibly be about those fraud things that were coming knocking on the door. Could it have, have been Dr. Steele? Hmm? No? Okay. So he did offer a statement to the Springfield News Leader, and he said, I will deeply miss my patients and the Springfield community, said Dr. Steele. I have enjoyed working with the outstanding leadership, co-workers, and physicians at Mercy who strive every day to meet the needs of our patients. It has been truly an honor. The fact that a physician who blatantly has lied about the medical records that he obtained on Gypsy Rose, the fact that this physician has also lied, in my opinion, allegedly for entertainment and educational purposes only, about the fact that he did not know she was seeing all of those specialists, despite the fact that he sent them to her and they all wrote him letters that I have. He was the president of this facility and he knew damn sure that there was fraud happening. I think it's why he moved to the care of Gypsy in the first place. Really interesting stuff there. Very perplexed, very perplexed why Arkansas is where all these people want to gravitate to. Is there something happening in Arkansas that I'm not aware of? I don't know, seems like there's a story there. Have a good one from The Good Wives, serving up true crime, one dish at a time. Bye, guys. Mwah.